guys, Sponge Murphy here. Another, up, another update on the High Elf Mage. So, as you can see, just a quick recap. Um, I glued the head on to the body. So it's really taking shape. Now he's done, just except for the little scrolls there that I still haven't got around to them yet. I keep forgetting about them. So, um, you've seen him before without the head. And it's all finished. I don't need to do anything else on it, just apart from the little scrolls in it. Put the focus in a bit better. Yeah, it came together pretty nicely, looking good. And I don't want to stay too long on it because I want to move on to what I've been doing. Uh, I got the, his his left arm finished. It's the one with the book I went to it instead of going with two staffs. Um, I didn't put, try to put any writing on in the book because it's just it'll either come out really bad and I don't I didn't really want to try it. Um, I went with the same colours the regal blue then highlighted up to ultramarine blue and then the new I got a new paint if I can find it it's here somewhere there it is there Ushabity bone or however you pronounce it I uh, layered that onto the book to get the page coloured and then just I went with scorpion green, no sorry it's not green, the scorpion green then just white highlights just on the edge to give it like a magic look on the, the kind of weird lettering there and then the back of it here if I can get on camera, there it is to get the kind of old book feel I went with well this is like originally spread white so it was a a dark elf or dark flesh, I get a look at I keep forgetting dark flesh, sorry a dark flesh wash kind of or a really watered down layered to get kind of like a brown old book look on it and then went an agrax or shade wash over that so forgive the the shakiness of the camera I still haven't got the piece for my tripod yet so it's ordered so I have to just kind of do it by hand so everything could be a little bit shaky so so uh, that's the ha that iron finished the book and all done so I'm kind of happy with how that came out it's not too bad now this is what I'm doing tonight before I go on to the flames part everything on this arm was done except I got I wanted like a like an ivory type of colour for the staff there for the focus and I kind of came out kind of okay I would like to like a bit more look at I would have liked it to look a bit more nicer but it came out okay and everything on that was only one true before it was the regal blue highlighted up the ultramarine blue and the metal colours but tonight I'm working on uh, the flames so the way I'm going to do is it was spread white and then there's the base colour of what yellow do I use? sunburst yellow and I just leave little patches of white just kind of underneath it, you'll see that little bit of it. And then I'm going to highlight up in the thing. I go on from Blaze and Orange, I have to look up how I did the last one again. Just to make sure I get the right colours. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's it. So I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to put on the next layer of colour onto the flame. See how I get on in a couple of seconds. Alright, guys, so hopefully you can see the yellow underneath the orange net. Uh, it's mostly nearly all coloured over except for parts of the yellow at the bottom and I used the blazing orange colour turn it over and uh, yeah it looks pretty decent now, now that it's dried in and just add the black tips onto it then and then hopefully maybe the middle part I might just go over that I tried to put it like from white yellow to red but I think I might just go over all in the orange or white, yellow, orange, sorry. So I think I might just go over it in the orange because it doesn't really fit it the way I was trying to do it. So uh, I'll finish this off then and see you back in a second. Okay guys, so I got the fire done. Uh, I put the black tips on over the orange. And what I was meant to do was I meant to put scab raid after the orange just on the tips as well. And I forgot to do it so I kind of just worked in a little bit of it just underneath the the black tips is out of the flame and um, then there's the other side as well so hopefully 
the lighting isn't the best because I do this at night but hopefully it doesn't look too bad as for the orb in the middle I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet I just left it with a with a with some blazing orange on it so I might just put like a glass finish on it just to kind of make it stick out a little bit but um, yeah that's it now for the model pretty much I have that iron finished and this one finished as I saw him before and then the guy himself is there the rocks and all are done, I forgot to show the rocks they were done with codex grey and then washed with agrax earth shade and then dry brush, dry brush with fortress grey so I just went with the standard kind of stone colour on it I was going to do some magic rocks but I didn't bother in the end and then this is the base it's the same colours, I just have the sand drying with another layer of um, just PVA glue just to harden up the sand and then I'll just paint the sand and that's it then for the base so that's pretty much it then the next kind of video you'll see for this is when it's all glued together hopefully it'll look pretty decent, took me long enough to do it anyway so um, leave a comment below and hit the like button if you haven't and let me know what you guys think of this guy and keep an eye out for the next video, it'll be when he's all glued together and uh, get a proper showcase of him. So uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next video.